June 1st, 2023. Our expected delivery date is June 10th, yes, nine 2023. Days away. <laughs> so nine days away really could come any day now. And we are so excited about these last couple of days of pregnancy and preparing for the future. So in today's episode, we are going to be talking about the last stage of pregnancy. Let's get into it. We're pregnant. We're pregnant. We are having a baby. We are nine days away. Actually, it can happen any day now, but technically, we are nine days away from meeting our baby boy, baby Jordan. But before we get to that, let's reflect on, you know, some moments over the past month or so, past few weeks of this last trimester and Mm -hmm. and what it's been like, you know. It's been so different (laughs) from the second trimester. Second trimester, I felt like pre-pregnancy, Jen, I had a lot of energy. I was moving around. I got my appetite back. You know, I was able to do stuff outside and move and just do a whole bunch. And the baby wasn't as big. So I could still fit into a lot of my pre-pregnancy clothes. Not all, but, you know, a lot of my pre-pregnancy clothes. Now... Jen got about good four or five dresses that she can (laughs) still wear. You know, of course, I bought some maternity clothes, but, um, you know, I only have a few items that I can wear. Baby is so much bigger. I know. You know, he's so active and and moving around. And I have started to slow down significantly, still working out and, you know, being active, but not nearly as um, to the same level as I was before. And... The sweets, mm. the sweets have just taken over your girl. And I am not a sweets person. I am not a sweets person. But the way the Lord has been directing me to cakes, cookies, <laughs> brownies, ice cream. Oh, so that's funny that you mentioned that because we had a second baby shower that was actually hosted from your company. Yeah. We had a nice big cake from Publix. Oh, yeah. And the cake was so big. And they barely ate any at the at the actual event. So we brought home this whole big cake. And Jet is devouring this cake. <laughs> he has, every some, he has day. some too. I did eat cake every single day, like twice And I'm a day. like, oh we, we can't eat this entire cake because we <laughs> I was both like, gonna blow up. So <laughs> that or I'm have diabetes and that's not fun nothing to laugh about, but yes. Exactly. So halfway through the cake, I said, all right, I'm cutting this off. I'm throwing this in the trash. And the next morning she, she gets up. She's like, you threw away the cake? <laughs> <laughs> but she kind of was OK with it. Because I was OK with she it. Was okay. I knew it was a problem. It I was, was like, problem. all right. But uh, yes, I, I can. The I sweets can, have uh, taken over. I can vouch for that. The sweets for her has been um more than usual another thing that i've realized in this third trimester but more so in the late in the last couple of weeks mm-hmm. is that the baby's growth he's really growing now he's grown so significantly the belly is so much bigger than it was even just a month ago yeah and definitely two months ago yeah so like when you see videos or when i see videos of like pregnancy and you see the the woman waddling and try to like get up and stuff like that like you're truly in that stage right now where it's like it's really tough to even put on shoes like it's a struggle like every day now lately i've been having to help you put on shoes and (laughs) that's a struggle in itself for me (laughs) i gotta activate the core myself (laughs) just to get them shoes on i'm like is this the is this the easiest shoes you have you was like (laughs) do you not have any shoes that you could just slip on i was like i mean so i'm no i'm tying shoes i'm i'm pushing (laughs) shoes up into the heel like (laughs) And I've noticed that that is way different than it was even in the second trimester or even l- l- earlier in the third trimester. And I think uh, the daily massages, the, the daily back massages, pain. the back pain that you've been having and, uh, you know, waking up four o'clock or five o'clock in the morning. The insomnia. Yeah. Um, and then helping you with massaging you early on in the morning, like things are really starting to develop. Mm -hmm. um here in the later weeks of the end of the pregnancy and i think it's 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 great to see because we know that we're we're growing a healthy baby boy yes and we've been to several appointments and everything is on track which Mm -hmm. is first and foremost the the most important thing yes and it's just a beautiful thing that you know we're coming down to the last couple of weeks and now really just a week 
and yeah, I mean, we, we literally are have now, a week, yeah. we are now fully prepared mm -hmm. for this next step in this next chapter of our lives. We've got everything that we need to be successful. Hopefully as, as parents, we've got the stroller, we've got the crib, we've got the car seat, we've got, uh, different little items around the house. We've got the diapers, everything. We got everything that we need the essentials. to bring our little baby boy into the world. And that has happened over the last couple of weeks too. Mm -hmm. And I think that's also like a, a mindset switch to it to be like, of course, dang, like this is really about to happen any yeah. day now. Yeah, I agree. I think all of that makes it very real and puts into perspective that it can happen any day now. And life has changed for us since finding out, you know, the news that we were going to be, you know, ex expecting parents. But it just makes it that much more life changing that he could be here any day now and mm. our home is reflecting that we're preparing for his arrival yeah. so that's been really nice and over the past few weeks as well you know we celebrated not just the baby shower that um my job threw for us but our own baby shower that yeah. we hosted ourselves and you know having one of my sisters and my niece be able to fly down um to celebrate with us and we do that amongst friends as well uh, you did the pregnancy challenge recently where you oh, got to experience uh, yeah. what it was like to have a belly. <laughs> and that video is already up on YouTube. So yeah. if you haven't seen it, go watch Y'all check that, video. that out. It's hilarious. It is hilarious. <laughs> and it was truly a, a perspective changer for me. I was like, man, y'all pregnant women really be going through it. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I'm just getting the physical aspect of it. Yeah. So I don't really know everything. But from that watermelon challenge, I'm like, man. Even putting on a shoes is, is, is a task yeah. or, or getting in the car and it, getting, getting out of bed, getting out of the bed, yeah. getting out of the car. <laughs> I mean, everything takes a lot of effort. Yes. Um, and so if you haven't seen that video, go check that video out. And if you haven't subscribed, please go subscribe to our channel. This yes. Is what we talk about we are, we're building relationships. We're building onto the marriage that we have. Yes. And, you know, the next time that you probably will see us, we'll be doing a podcast with a little baby boy. I know. Then we'll we'll have our little baby here. So that yeah. will be that will be amazing, and especially people who have been following the pregnancy series from the beginning, just to see the growth of us. One, sharing the news that, you know, we're expecting and then just watching our transformational growth over the pa past few months. And then being able to see like, oh, wow, now the baby is here and how we are adjusting as new parents, mm -hmm. what are highs, what's lows, you know, postpartum recovery, all of those things. So um, to people that have been following our journey this entire time, thank you. You know, we really appreciate that because Truly, thank you. the feedback that we get from you all also encourages us to continue to do this and want to continue to share our memories with you all because we hope that you get value from it right. and you know are learning from it as well and we all kind of lean on each other with it being a community you right. know so exactly thank you for that but this the past uh few weeks have been a whirlwind because the appointments have increased right you know we're now going to the doctors every week we actually week. have one in an hour from now. So yeah. <laughs> so we, we, we need to wrap this video. Yeah, we up. wanted to do a quick video before our doctor's appointment. Um, but yeah, just reflecting on the last few weeks, it has been amazing. It has been very different from the early start of the trimester and definitely very different from the second and the first trimester. Mm -hmm. Um, it's been nice to have, you've always been supportive throughout the pregnancy for sure. Um, but oh, it's nice. You. Yeah, you have, you've been very supportive and I appreciate that. Um, but it's been nice to have additional support from you as I am, you know, getting in the later stages of pregnancy because it has gotten harder for me. Yeah. And it's more difficult for me to do things that I could once normally do so easily. And you know how I am. I'm always like, I want to do it myself or try to carry a whole bunch of groceries or do this or do that. And you're always like, Jen, what are you, what are you doing? Like, this is what I'm here for. Not on my watch. And it's not, it's you not, are not you. carrying <laughs> one grocery unless it's absolutely needed. But that's just how I am. I'm always, I've always had like this, like can do it attitude and pregnancy has really humbled me. Yeah. And mm. like really told me like, you need to sit down. It's okay to receive help mm -hmm. and it's okay to also ask for help because I've never really been that type of person. And pregnancy has allowed me to be more vulnerable and it's allowed you to help me more. And I appreciate that because you've been very, very supportive. And so thank you. Thank you for that. And you are a hundred percent welcome. I take pride in this. And I think that this is 
what not only what I'm supposed to be doing, but I'm happy to do it. Yeah. Like I actually want to be there as your husband first mm-hmm. and foremost, but to be as a good father. Yeah. And not to get too deep, but I grew up without a father mm-hmm. and I want to change the course of what I knew mm-hmm. so that I can be better for my son. Mm-hmm. And I'm happy to do it yeah, for Jordan. you. I'm happy to do it for you. I'm happy to do it for Jordan. And it brings me joy to even wake up five o'clock in the morning to give you a back rub mm-hmm. because this is what you need right here in this moment. Yeah. And, you know, this is just the beginning. Right. But, and, you know, all, and all the nights shivering because I have the AC down oh, <laughs> at yeah. a low temp because I'm burning up and uh, you're freezing. <laughs> so, you know, I, we're we're just excited and we're we're. Mm-hmm. we're looking forward to what's to come um but even what's happening here in the moment and that's yeah. why we're having we're doing this conversation here yeah. because i think it's it's important to highlight the last couple of weeks before or the last couple of weeks of pregnancy yeah and how unique of a time this is it's very unique you know and like really appreciating it and you know please believe you i'm taking plenty of pictures to cap capture the moment yeah and it's filled with so many emotions i know we we want to keep this short so i won't go too deep so we can kind of wrap up but in case anyone is wondering that has either gone through it or they're considering extending their families or just curious about what pregnancy is like of course all pregnancies look different for every person in every family but for me the over the last few weeks and leading up to now it's been very overwhelming emotionally. And when I say that, it's not that it's all like bad, you know what I mean? Cause I think when people think overwhelmed, they naturally gravitate toward like the negative, but it's been overwhelming just in terms of the level of education mm-hmm. and preparation and making sure we have what we need to successfully, you know, raise Jordan and this newborn stage and having what we need for the hospital, preparing our hospital bags. You know, we have a dog, so making sure that we have someone to care for her you know, and our absence, a lot is there's a lot of moving parts and, you know, just the childbirth classes and and things like that. And also just being afraid for labor and delivery. You know, that is something that we know is coming the baby. You're going to have to have the baby regardless, but, um, it makes it just very real when you know that you are having this baby very soon and he can come any day now. And that brings a sense of anxiety a little bit because it's just like, all right, the time is coming. Like, you know, you can't put this, you can't try to put it, you can't try to put off pregnancy or or anything like that. Like he will be here soon and we just want to do the best job that we can. And um, it's it's just a lot of things to think about. You, right. you think about all of those, all of those things, especially as you get to the final few days right. of pregnancy. But more importantly, we are just very excited to very, meet him. Very excited. And everything that you said is perfect. And like we said at the beginning of this video, today's June 1st. Our baby's delivery expected date is June 10th. Mm-hmm. So really any day now, we're excited. And this is really just taking in these last unique couple of weeks. Mm-hmm. Because pregnant. our life will look very different after this. Very, very different. different. In nine days or less. Nine days or less. So <laughs> we just wanted to have this conversation and, and hope when you are in these last couple of weeks, you really enjoy the moment of these last couple of weeks of pregnancy. Mm-hmm. So my name is Shane. And I'm Jen. And this is The Yambors. Bye, everyone. And remember to find joy in the journey. Trust the process because pregnancy does go by so fast. So just really try to enjoy every moment of it. Bye, guys. So conversations like this, I think, are super important because as new parents, we have to really evaluate ourselves and us as a couple.